In this video, we want to talk about calibrating and utilizing the measuring tool that you have access to. So what we can do is we can come over into our search bar. I've pre-tagged a couple of videos measure that I'm going to use for this demonstration. And I can come through here and I can tap on my tool tip and I can select my ruler. If you don't happen to see the ruler in here, anytime that you come through here, just a quick note. You can always just tap on it, grab it, and you can change colors and whatnot, just like you can with any of the other tools. So now that we've got our measuring tool active, I can come through here and let's say that I know that this line here is a six inch line. So I could come through and I can drop this tool in here. I can get that measurement done. And now I can calibrate it because what's happening is the last time that I used this tool, it's holding its calibration. So now I need to recalibrate it and I can do that by double clicking and I could say, okay, this was six inches. And now anything relative to this plane is going to measure based on the tool being measured or calibrated to six inches. So she is 27 inches away. So what we want to do is let's take that as, okay, we've set our, our calibration up and let's move over to a different video and measure something completely different. And notice that if I come through, select my tool, I can come in and I can grab this. This is a six foot mat. So obviously that measurement is off now because we're seeing that. So to recalibrate when I'm going to a new plane or to a new video, I can double click on it. And I know that this mat is six foot long, so I'll say six feet. Now I've recalibrated my line to where it'll be referenced on this plane in six foot. So I can come through here now. I'll clear out that spot down there. So we've got that. If I want to just really focus on the feet movement, I can come through and zoom in on my video there. And what I'll do is I'll get a point of reference. So I'm going to grab a green line. I'm just going to draw it from his toe down. So now we can come through here and we've got the toe set. And now I can go through and advance the video. And what I'm wanting to do is catch his land so that we can measure how far was the stride of that front leg. So again, I'll go in and I'll grab my ruler. I'll go from his toe and I'll just reference back to my line there we can see that he has moved 1.31 feet. And now what we can do is, in reference to the planes, let's come back out to the main side of the video. With that plane or with that calibration set to six feet, visually we can look behind here and we can see this pretty large banner, which we know is several feet behind this individual on a different plane. And it's also much larger than six feet. However, if I come through here and I select my tool, and I come do a drawing here to measure this. This is telling me that it's only 4.65 feet. We know that that's incorrect. So hopefully that adds some perspective as to how to utilize and measure something consistently on the same plane. Or if we know that this banner is, is a certain you know, length or width and we wanted to measure something on the same plane, say something else on this wall, then we would obviously be able to have an equal um, equal calibration there and we should be set. So hopefully that helps explain how to use the measuring tool. Please reach out as always. If you have any questions, we can help with anything.